It is not about perfection. What is it about? Well, stay tuned for episode 57 of In Real Life. This episode is sponsored by Vital Proteins, who are launching an exciting new product, and I can't wait to tell you all about it in a moment. As natural mamas, we can make it hard on ourselves, can't we? I mean, we set such high standards for ourselves in every area of our lives. From the moment we get pregnant, it's like, Food-based prenatal, breathe through the pressure waves, delayed cord clamping, immediate skin to skin, breastfeed for at least two years, oh no GMOs, that baby's first food better not be rice puffs, no strollers, no cribs, non-stop baby wearing. All of these are wonderful, valiant things to hope and work for. I believe in it. I mean, I, this my whole life is about, my blog, everything. Uh, in fact, I wrote an ebook about it, How to Be a Natural Mama. It is free if you want to read it. I'll have a link to that in the video description below. And we get a lot of great feedback on this book, but probably my favorite feedback are the women who say thank you for writing the forgive yourself sections, because I wrote in that book a couple of times, forgive yourself, because somewhere on the natural journey, you are going to veer off the road. You're going to hit a pothole. You're going to have to make an exception. You're going to have to take a turn. You're going to have to do a U-turn. Uh, there are things that aren't going to work out the way that you wanted it to. Uh, I know in my experience, this has so been the case. I mean, we never had the family bed. Um, Griffin hated to be in the baby carrier. Um, Paloma weaned at one. I mean, I could go on and on of all of the different ways that things didn't work up to the way I wanted them to or to my expectations or perfectly. But believe me, I know enough natural mamas out there. I've been behind the scenes. I know for none of us, this road is a perfect journey that we're able to check off every single tenant in the list of whoever's making that list. Um, so wipe that out of your conscience. Forgive yourself because it's not about perfection. It's about doing the best that you can. As a child, I loved Mary Poppins. I loved her. I just thought, oh my gosh, she's so awesome and she has everything so together. And she used to say that she was practically perfect in every way. I'm like, oh, isn't that the truth? And I wanted to be that, you know? Uh, and you know, the thing that's so amazing is I know that I'm definitely not perfect. I am far from it. But through God's eyes of love, I can be like, you know what? I am practically perfect in every way, you know? And I, I say that in total humility. And it's kind of like what you would, you know, when you look at your child with your eyes of love, you can look at your child and say, oh, they're practically perfect in every way. And you know, they've got temper issues. They don't share, whatever. You know, they're gonna have to work on those issues throughout their life, but you still love them so much that you can see the perfection in the imperfection. And that's just what I hope for every mama, that they can have that grace, those eyes to see themselves that way because I used to not see myself that way. I was a hardcore perfectionist. In fact, that was a lot of my eating disorder. It was like if I had one cookie, I would want to eat the whole entire box, you know, and I'm like, oh, the whole day is blown and I would just binge, you know, the whole day. And it's ridiculous, you know, and so today, you know, it's been 15 years by God's grace since I've gone, you know, to the binging and all that. But there are times where I feel like I'm a little bit too full after a meal or I didn't like that choice I made or whatever but I don't go into the snake pit and just be like, oh my gosh, I'm so terrible, why did I do that? And it's just been such a gift to be freed from that perfectionism. And now a word from our sponsor. Liver is one of the most nutrient dense foods on the planet. In fact, some people call it nature's multivitamin. It's the highest source of vitamin A of any food on the entire planet, uh, B vitamins, Iron, it is hugely helpful for mamas who are tired from raising kids. Uh, but the problem is most people don't like the way liver tastes. And that's too bad because our ancestors used to eat the whole entire animal, including the liver and all these glands. Actually, these were the most precious of the entire animal because they knew instinctively that they were so nutritious. Uh, but that's why I love what Vital Proteins is doing with their new product. They are coming out with pasture-raised, grass-fed beef liver capsules. So you can get all that nutrition into your body without actually having to eat liver and onions. Now this product is available for pre-order right now and Vital Proteins is offering a 20% off coupon code until June 8th. I'll have info and link to this in the video description below. I hear from a lot of women who feel like they failed or they aren't natural because they had to have a cesarean. And to me, this is just absolutely heartbreaking because it's not true. Thank God we have cesareans. I was a cesarean baby. Uh, so we have a woman in our community who has had several of them and she has created a suite of posts that are simply amazing. The first one is, 
all about how to create a gentle cesarean. It's a new trend, a lot of hospitals are getting behind this, and it's basically all about setting up your cesarean as naturally as possible. And uh, you'd be amazed at how many similarities uh, your surgical birth can have to a vaginal birth. So it's such an awesome article. In fact, there's one tip that is huge. It's all about populating your child's microbiome after a C-section. So be sure to check it out, whether you need to have a cesarean or you want to, you know, give birth naturally and you want to have this on your birth plan. Aww. That flower? What's that? What's that? Really pretty. I found it. Hey, thank you, Griff. Thank you. How about you? Have you ever battled with perfectionism? Or have you set yourself free? Share with us in the comments below.